Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Talisa Ryder. Tech giants, banks and telcos could be up for massive fines for failing to protect victims of scams under a new federal government proposal. The laws to be announced today will require businesses to do more to protect customers against scammers. Those who don't comply could be forced to cough up more than $50 million. People already in aged care won't be forced to pay more, but many new entrants will face higher fees under landmark reforms introduced to Parliament by Labor. 30% of pensioners and 70% of part pensioners will be required to make greater contributions under new means testing. Aged Care Minister Annika Wells says a new support at home program will benefit hundreds of thousands more Australians over the next decade. This new home care program will come into effect from 1 July 2025 and will reduce wait times for in-home care uh, with a target of three months by July 2027. An anti-war protester has been arrested in Melbourne after she cemented herself to the back of a car as the third and final day of the Land Forces Expo gets underway. Violent protests have seen 47 other arrests made across the three-day event. Over in the US, and Donald Trump has ruled out taking part in the second presidential debate against Kamala Harris. Posting on his social media platform, Truth Social, the former president claims he clearly won the first debate. However, three post-debate polls show the majority of voters believe Miss Harris was the winner. And a tech billionaire has become the first civilian to ever walk in space. Jared Isaacman popped out at the SpaceX capsule, which is orbiting the Earth at 700 kilometres, the moment captured by Mission Control. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Hawthorne Premiership hero Luke Bruce plays his 300th game in tonight's semi-final against Port Adelaide. The 32-year-old needs just two goals to move into the top 50 all-time league goal kickers. Port will have the home advantage with bounce down at 5.40pm. And Australia is on the verge of another crack at Davis Cup Finals glory. The team has won its second group stage tie in just three days with a 3-0 whitewash of the Czech Republic in Valencia. In entertainment news, Taylor Swift has made no secret of her love for boyfriend Travis Kelly. Kelsey, the pop star thanking her beau while accepting the VMA for Video of the Year Award. Everything this man touches turns to happiness and fun and magic, so I want to thank him for, for adding that to our shoot. Meanwhile, Katy Perry has revealed her and Orlando Bloom's daughter looks just like a popular children's book character. The pop star saying the couple's four-year-old is a spitting image of Eloise, a little girl with blonde hair who lives at the Plaza Hotel in New York City. And Cardi B has given birth to her third child, the rapper, welcoming the baby girl with her estranged hubby Offset. No word yet on a name. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News Group. We'll have another episode of The Update for you later on. 